Hi everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to One Honey Bell Kitchen. Yes. I hope you're having a great weekend and having a wonderful time. We're having a wonderful time here. Me and Michaela. Say hi Michaela. Hi guys. We are cooking and we are having a good time. I want to show you today what we are cooking today. Today we are co cooking some fish and this is curry fish. It's a little twist because it's grouper curry fish head. And you're going to say to me, how come they are cooking grouper fish head? I didn't know the fish can eat. That's the best part. When I finished cooking this fish head, you're gonna, my family gonna lick their fingers. Mwah. And so, I'm gonna show you what I put in my my group of fish head. I put some okra and I put scallion, onion, bell pepper, a little thyme, a little salt. I put some scotch bonnet pepper or whatever pepper you have. You can put it you can also even though you put curry even though you cook put curry you can also put some a little bit of soy sauce maybe a teaspoon or so just to give it a little different flavor a little different taste so um that's what i'm cooking today my grouper fish head so let it go along as we go along we'll show you me and Michaela is here just listening some nice Christian music as usual on weekend and just cooking up our food. Finishing up our curry group of fish head. And you can get group of fish head in your local super supermarket. Or you can just go maybe if you have like where I live, we can go to the shore, we can get close by, you have fishermen, they can give you a group of fish head. And so I want to show you how I'm putting, I put a little water so we can get some gravy when we're eating. You can have this with rice, or brown rice, rice, white rice, you can have it with some vegetable, some broccoli. I'm going to have this with some zucchini and yellow squash on the side. And Right now I'm going to add some cornstarch because my gravy, although we have some okra, you, as a, okra is also optional. You don't have to. A lot of people don't like okra. You don't have to put it in there. You just make up the thickness with a little cornstarch. I did like two tablespoons of cornstarch in cold water and you take your time. You don't want to make the bone the meat fall off the bone you just take your time after you turn it over once you don't have to be keep on turning and turning you know if you have to turn you would lift it like this and just take your time and turn it over you know what I mean there's a lot of meat on this bone so there's a lot of fish head for you and your family to share and my kettle is boiling because I have my hot water. If I need more water, I'll put it in because I hardly use cold water on my stuff. Right now, I'm just going to give this like about five minutes for for my cornstarch to cook. It's already cooked because this takes like about half an hour. You know, you put in everything and you cover and voila you have your fish head i'll show you a nice piece here's a nice piece you see how much meat that is yes and it's gummy and it's nice and it's healthy i also put a little piece of ginger i didn't like cut it up because i want to find my ginger nobody want to eat like ginger in their food i'll take this out at the end i put some pepper and i told you you know what and what i just season it normally as you steam as uh, steam fish and then I'll just cover it and let it turn my burner to the lowest and about five minutes this is done right, Michaela yes 
and it looks so good so far and I can't wait to try it. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Subscribe and like and hit the notification bell. And follow us on Instagram. Bye.